First, one of your enemies who spent his life persecuting Christians, let's call him Paul for now, will have a better idea to destroy your religion. Instead of using force, he can just claim that while walking alone in a desert next to Syria, he got a revelation from God himself, saying that all laws that Jesus taught in his life are just a curse, and we don't have to follow them anymore. Even though Jesus was very clear when he taught us that we will be judged based on how good we are in obeying the laws, Paul says that having eternal life in paradise is by belief alone, and following the laws like Jesus is just a curse. So a rapist or a murderer who has belief will have eternal life in paradise, but a good decent person who does charity and helps humanity but does not believe Paul will be in hell. Totally makes sense. And the funny thing is that because people hate obeying God's laws and just want to drink alcohol and sleep around and have fun, some of them will just ignore Jesus and believe Paul. It has nothing to do with Jesus or his teachings or God. It's simply prepared cooked and served by the Romans, that's it. And then a lot of people like the idea of a religion without any laws. You can do whatever you want in life without any limits, and then for some reason you deserve eternal happiness in heaven. Sounds great. All you have to do is just to believe a story, that's it. That was the reason that this man-made religion spread very quickly. For example, the only reason the Russian leader Vladimir converted his country to Christianity, not Judaism, not Islam, is simply because he liked drinking alcohol. He called the council of his lords and sent them abroad to investigate the merits and demerits of these three religions, Christianity, Islam, and Judaism. They came back, they said the Jews show their devotion by circumcising their young, and they don't eat pork. Vladimir decided not to convert to Judaism. They said Muslims are powerful, but they seem glum. They pray too often and do not seem to enjoy life. They don't dance or listen to music, and they forbid drinking. Vladimir famously replied, Drinking is a joy to the Rus. We cannot do without it. Islam and Judaism were out, and the Orthodox Christianity of the Eastern Church was in. He's not looking for the truth. He's not looking for God. He's just looking for a way to sin without feeling guilty about it.